Let's take a look at how we can create a hydraulic uh, piston. Here we've got our geometry uh, that represents uh, two parts. Uh, actually, this one is composed of three of two pieces, uh, but they're parented, uh, making one top or inner part of the piston. Notice that the we also have this this setup in fully compressed closed position. This is how we want to uh, rig it and then expand from there. We also have also made a couple of locators that represents the centers uh, for this piston. Uh, and also here is the inner range just so we are aware of the distance uh, available distance and uh, now that we've got our geometry and kind of main pivots in place let's go ahead and start creating our joints let me go ahead and hide polygons here and we can uh, just uh, point snap our joint we're gonna have one joint structure pointing upwards uh, we can actually take this joint and give it a smaller radius just so we can distinguish and between um, two joints two joint sets because right now I'm just gonna duplicate it control D to duplicate this joint and what we're gonna do is we're going to reverse the hierarchy so let me set this to 0 0.5 this one is going to be 0 0.2 just so we can um, tell them apart let's uh, switch everything back and open up our hypergraph where we can actually see things a little bit better and uh, select them easier so I'm going to grab joint 2 which is the stop joint right there I'm going to unparent and reparent joint 3 under the joint Two. So uh, as a result, we've got joint one hierarchy pointing upwards, joint two hierarchy pointing downwards. The next step would be to create two simple IKs. We could use some constraints and orient constraint and point constraints, but I think using the IK handles is very simple straight and straightforward. So let's grab one IK handle uh, and create it going top bottom so join two um, this is our first IK and let's create a second IK going from this big joint joint one to this small joint here and let's let's test that okay so at this point we can do couple of things we can uh, it doesn't really matter we can take our IK handle and directly parent it to the opposite joint here uh, or we can also uh, parent it to the locator both would work um, let's do that here is one where is our second IK probably accidentally deleted it is that right yeah it looks like that there we go so we're gonna take this this is the top and uh, just simply parent it to the locator take this second IK and parent it to the bottom locator so now when we grab the locator and move it notice how the IK points to towards that uh, we can now take our joint and also parent them to the locator so they move with that handle so now we're kinda getting our hydraulics let's do the same thing with the top joint and also parent it to this locator here so now no matter which which uh, handle we, we, we move um, both joints are pointing towards each other and they can actually create this stretching and squashing effect okay now let's uh, go ahead and uh, basically at this point all we need to do is just take our geometry and parent it to the joints themselves uh, so let's take this piece here and parent it to that joint let's take this piece here and parent to this big joint at the bottom so uh, at this point we've got very simple 
hydraulic structure here that should work no matter what we do um, it will squash and stretch uh, we just want to make sure that we don't go don't go over the limit here stay within that range um, and uh, maybe next we're gonna look how to put some kind of a uh, wire inside here and also have it squash and, and stretch <laughs> 